What is up guys, welcome back to the British Grand Prix. This is coming to the summer break now, actually getting very, very close to the summer break in this career mode, which means change of games. Change of games are coming soon. So F1 2017's out in nine days, um, there or thereabouts, depending if you count midnight launch or not. But yes, we are at the British Grand Prix, a beautiful sunny, sunny day, as opposed to qualifying, I was absolutely pissing it down. And we somehow managed to take pole in the wet conditions. I mean, probably because he's finished, Nico Carey took pole, but it's by a good few seconds and all the AI went out on wet tyres and we tried on intermediates and somehow it worked. So somehow we managed to get on pole position um, at Silverstone, which is a bit, bit of an interesting track. I mean, I suppose we should have expected it to rain just for the pure fact that, um, you know, it's Britain. But Hamilton has got the last three wins here in the previous season, the Mercedes were the previous four wins, so Mercedes are really strong around here, so we'll have to see and be very careful of Mercedes um, around the circle, we've got Lewis Hamilton starting just to our right, so it's going to be interesting to see how he can do as we make our way towards the grid along the black and white curves, but we've got the lights on ahead of us, we've got five lights, and we are underway, we're going to get off to an, I'd say an average start, we're about didn't get too much of a difference advantage as Hamilton, but Bottas has certainly made some ground. We've actually left the rest of the field, including the Ferraris, um, for dead. As speaking of the Ferrari, we've got a Ferrari, Red Bull Ferrari, followed by a Force India. But there's a little bit of a um, little bit of toss, um, jostling going back in the midfield, including our teammate Carlos Sainz, who hasn't had a fantastic race to say the least. We've got a yellow flag as we are now under attack from Lewis Hamilton. We're going to go defensive coming into the corner, and we're just going to. We're going to be all right. I mean, we're on the soft tyre there. Um, Mercedes is on the medium tyres. So we've got a bit of a difference in strategy here. But nonetheless, we've actually got a safety car out. So we're going to have to slow it right down. As you can see, it's um, on the board just, just to our heads. But Lewis Hamilton is going to go straight into the back of us. And um, I don't think he was paying attention. So he's lost most, if not all, um, of his front wing. So you might have to pit uh, this lap and maybe swap to the hard tyre. But we've got on board of Max Verstappen. We're going to see how he gets off to a fantastic start. Splits both of the Ferraris, but as we saw um, coming into the third corner, he didn't dispose of them. As you can see, there goes Vettel um, down his inside, which is a very audacious move, uh, to say the least. But Daniel Ricciardo doesn't get off to as good a start as his teammate Max Verstappen did. He's going to hang back. He's going to go side by side with one of the Haas cards. I believe that's Roman Grosjean. And he's going to get done round the outside by Nico Hulkenberg. I believe that is. No, it's Jody and Palmer of all people. Jody and Palmer puts on a stunning move. And then we've got a torpedo of uh, Roman Grosjean. But Carlos Sainz uh, defends that very, very well. But yeah, Jody and Palmer with making the moves. And he actually almost made it stick. Which would have been, um, would have been interesting. Considering, you know, it's Jody and Palmer. Hey. Anyway, um, lap four now. We're still um, behind safety car. A uh, safety car should be coming in um, this lap, but it's it's a bit of a weird race so far. I mean, we've retained um, first place, so we're still in first. I'm not sure if Hamilton's pit. Um, we might be able to see from this replay camera as we go around this corner. Um, it should switch, but it was a really silly, silly move from Lewis Hamilton to go straight into the back of me. And yes, he has pit because that is Valtteri Bottas behind me. And we're going to come in on to the start for the straight, the lights have gone green and we are free to go, we've got Valtteri Bottas right up our gearbox, we didn't have a great restart but Valtteri Bottas is using that Mercedes engine to its fullest and he's actually going to take us into turn one but we're going to fight back, we're not going to just take this land down because you know we want to get as, get as, <laughs> want to do as best as we can, we'll actually push Bottas out wide and we've got Sebastian Vettel actually coming through and taking advantage of us just absolutely bullying uh, Valtteri Bottas off of the road. But we're going to just continue on. And unfortunately, Sebastian Vettel is actually coming for us now. So we're going to go side by side, do what we did to Hamilton, go defensive into this turn. Vettel actually makes it. We're just going to hold on as best we can. Bottas is still right there up our gearbox. We'll go wide, get a good drive. You can see Bottas sticking his front wing in and hoping to get past us. But it's not going to work. We've got the Red Bull of Max Verstappen also looking to see if he can do it. Verstappen's going to have a look down the inside. And he's actually going to make this move stick. They're going to go side by side into Max and Beckett. It's going to be incredibly close. But I think Verstappen has got to yield this position. Although he is still going to keep his front wing in there. But ultimately... He just couldn't handle it. The Red Bull has got downforce, but not that much downforce. I mean, the track limits and all. We're going to come into the pit lane. We are going to take uh, 
take a few seconds. I mean, this pit stop is very, very different and very odd. It, it's a lot longer than um, the other ones, but we've still retained first position because everyone else came in behind us. Van Dorn, I thought, was going to screw us over there and we'd come out behind Vettel. But luckily, boys did their job back out in first. So we've still got a very feisty Sebastian Vettel behind us. I have no idea where Lewis Hamilton is or what he's doing because I'm assuming he's on the hard tyres at this point after pitting on lap one, after making such a silly error. But that is Sebastian Vettel actually behind Kevin Magnussen. So Magnussen is doing us a humongous favour um, coming out uh, just just behind. But we've got Paul DeResta now making a move on our teammate Carlos Sainz. And Paul DeResta actually making a pretty good move on our on our um, teammate. So that's Carlos Sainz, not, again, not really coming to terms at the same heights that we have managed in this Toro Rosso. But speaking of Magnussen, I said he was ahead of Sebastian Vettel, but I can't imagine he's going to be ahead of Sebastian Vettel much longer as they come down to the hangar straight. He's going to have DRS, as will Kimi Raikkonen, and the following Toro Rosso as well as the rest of So it looks like uh, Science has got past uh, the rest again. So they probably swapped um, in the DRS detection zone in sector one. But Kimi Raikkonen is going to barge his way through and try and follow his teammates. So Ferrari are looking good for a double podium at this point. And a little bit further back, we've got the Saubers, uh, going at it of Marcus Ericsson and Pascal Verlan, two McLarens following suit, and I believe that is a Haas. That's most likely Roman Grosjean, but Pascal Verlan's going to go down the inside of his teammate Marcus Ericsson. Marcus Ericsson does have the inside line and possibly better traction. It's really dirty on the outside there, but Marcus Ericsson is going to hold it. He's going to just tap his teammate a little bit, but it does look like Marcus Ericsson is going to hold it as Roman Grosjean is trying to make a move on Stoffel van Dorn. But we've got a trouble up front on lap 11. We've got Sebastian Vettel going around our outside. Kimi Raikkonen going down our inside. We're going to hold off Kimi, but we've got to try and get back up to Sebastian because if Sebastian gets a big enough gap, he is gone. We don't know where Kimi is. Kimi is somewhere on our inside. We go extremely, extremely wide. We barely kept on the track. And now in one lap, we're behind both of the Ferraris, which is definitely not what we want to see but coming down to the hangar straight on the very same lap Kimi's now making a move on Sebastian Vettel we're going to take advantage we're going to go down the inside of both of them like an absolute torpedo Sebastian Vettel will be fuming at how quick we went down the inside it was we just kept so much speed but again Sebastian Vettel is still contesting for this win against ourselves we'll do what we always do we go wide sweep back in almost touches real well that could have been disaster we're going to fight our way through past Sebastian Vettel and is, we haven't got the traction at this point. We just don't because we've been stuck behind the Ferrari. And we've got Kimi Raikkonen to our left. He's not going to overtake us around here. Surely he's not. No, he's not. We're not going to let him do that because that would be absolutely embarrassing if Kimi Raikkonen had overtaken us there. But anyway, coming in to Megas and Beckett, so we're going to try and do whatever we can to keep off of Sebastian Vettel. We gained some time last lap when the Ferraris were scrapping. And we're going to have to do something. We will have DRS on the penultimate lap. But is it enough to get past the prancing horse of Sebastian Vettel. We're closing, we're closing, we're closing so much. We're going to switch to the inside and we're just going to hug this corner and hopefully Kimi Raikkonen can come through. But Kimi Raikkonen has gone into Vettel. Vettel spins Kimi. So that is Kimi out of the um, hunt for the podium place. And if I can actually read my preview screen, that says Deresta. So Deresta, again, is doing a fantastic job. We go wide. Final lap now. Sebastian Vettel's got DRS on us. So he's going to go round the outside potentially again. Just like he normally does. But no, we're going to hold it off. We did better this time. But we're coming on to the hangar straight. It's going to be Sebastian Vettel and Nico Carey in the final sector of the racetrack. What is going to happen? We're going to go defensive. Sebastian Vettel goes round. Just absolutely annihilates us in a straight line. We're going to hold tight. Take it a bit wide. We're going to absolutely floor the throttle all the way through this corner. We're going to close up to Sebastian Vettel coming into this chicane. I'm going to switch to the inside. We're going to break so, so deep. Sebastian Vettel's going to go, go for a switch back. We're going to hold the inside line. We're going to be side by side coming through the last corner, coming towards the finish line. It's going to be so close. It's a photo finish, and we don't know who won that. Whew, that was close. That was a very, very interesting final, final uh, part of the lap. But Sebastian Vettel is celebrating, and he's got the winner's um, graphic on his screen. So presumably Sebastian Vettel has won. Uh, the British Grand Prix, but Nico Carey, on the ha other hand, is celebrating also. So they both think they've won, which I can't blame them because obviously it was very, very close. But sad to say, it looks like it will be Sebastian Vettel if he had the winner's graphic. We're going to look at the slow motion replay. It's so, so close, but for Sebastian Vettel just about had an end play, less than that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Grand Prix. It's probably been one of the best ones so far this season. But until next time, bye-bye.